सो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड आई एम बैक विद अनदर पॉल स्टेटमेंट इन रियक्ट जावा स्विट मशीन कोडिंग सो हियर यू कैन सी वी हैव अ पॉल स्टेटमेंट व्हिच इज वी हैव टू बिल्ड अ बेसिक कांटेक्ट फॉर्म व्हिच इज कॉमनली सीन ऑन मार्केटिंग वेबसाइट्स फॉर विजिटर्स और यू कैन से टू प्रोवाइड फीडबैक सो दिस इज बेसिकली अ कांटेक्ट फॉर्म व्हिच वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट एंड द फॉर्म शुड कंटेन द फॉलोइंग एलिमेंट्स वन इज द नेम फील्ड देन वी हैव द ईमेल एंड द मैसेज सो सिंस द मैसेज कैन बी लॉन्ग we can use a text area which is more suitable and then on clicking on the submit button we have to make an api call so basically we have to create a post request on this link you can see we have this api endpoint and we have to submit the form data on this link only okay so with the following body uh, we have to send name email and message so like if you want to send data from front end application to back end application then you must watch this video because here we are going to send the data from the front end to the back end and after watching this video you can easily make a post request with any form data you want to append to the back end application so let's get started so first of all i will create react arrow functional component and export so first we will modify our jsx part so we will write section we will pass a class name timeline landing then we will create one div and we will pass a class name row and container this is basically a bootstrap class for the responsiveness after that we will create one form tag and inside we will create one label and inside label we will write name we will pass attribute html for to be name and then we will create one input tag and inside input we will pass type as text id will be name and name will be name only okay and we will pass one required attribute so we will copy this label and input tag and we will paste two times so uh, we want three things one is the name email and message so first one is for the name second one will be the email and third one will be the message so for the third one we will use the text area so and for the email let's modify this type is equals to email and the id will be email name will be email and for the message we will use text area we will remove this type is equals to text and uh, we will change the name of id will be message now and name will be message and after that at last we will create one button which will be responsible for submitting the data so we will write send and uh, here we will write type is equals to submit so now let's create some states so we will create use state for handling the input fields so we will create one use state and inside use state we will write form data and final state will be set form data so it will be going to be an object so inside object we will pass name as initially a blank string email as initially as blank string and at last we have this message as a blank string after that in the input field we will pass our value as form data dot name we will copy this value and we will paste it further down to the tree and inside in the email we will write form data dot email and in the message we will write form data dot message so after that what we will do we will pass one on change which will be responsible for handling the final state when whenever the user write something so it will fire the on change event so we will create one function and let's define this function const handle change equals to arrow function of javascript and it will accept one argument which is e and e is a synthetic event a cross browser wrapper so here we will write one is a name and one is a value equals to e dot target after that we will update the final state set form data we will get the previous data and then with the help of a spread operator 
we will spread the previous data after that we will update the final state to name equals to value okay so this is how we will update the data when we have multiple input fields and we don't want to create multiple states so with the help of only single states which is a form data here and inside i have created three objects one is a name email and message and with the help of handle change we are updating the final state okay so after that uh, up in this form tag what we will do first we will pass a class name which will be contact form and then we will pass our on submit handler and inside we will pass one function which will be handle submit so this will be responsible for submitting the form data so after this handle change we will define this handle submit and it will be going to be async function so we will pass an argument of e also e dot prevent default it will avoid automatic form submission without filling anything so now we will create one variable which will be api endpoint and uh, we will copy this link we have paste it here now we will create try and catch and inside try we will write const response equals to await fetch api endpoint okay and we will pass the params as method we have post so this is how we will pass our params and then at last we have the headers so headers we will pass as content type will be application json after that in the body we will write json dot stringify form data we will append the form data okay so here we will create one check that if the response is not okay means the response status is not 200 then we will throw new error so we will write network response was not okay after that if it is okay means the status is 200 then we will write const data is equals to await response dot json and then we will log our data console dot log data and after that we will reset the set form data so we will write name as blank string again so just we will copy this whole block and paste it here so this will be reset the form data so in the catch we will throw our error we will write there was an error sending your message we will write error so our logic is ready okay and one thing more we have to import the css also so we will write import contact dot css so you can see uh, i have one created one file which is contact dot css and uh, you can see we have a basic css for the contact form so in the form tag i have passed the class name as a contact form okay and uh, inside contact form we have the maximum width margin padding border and border radius and background and we have the label uh, we have a basic css for that same for the input and text area button and button on hover so that is something so let's navigate to our server to see if everything is working fine or not so we will write localhost slash challenge 48 so we will see we have this form and i have opened the network tab so let's suppose if i write name as rithvik email as rithvik at the rate gmail.com and message will be high and on click on the send button you will see uh, we have this data in the network tab and uh, thank you rithvik your message was received successfully and in the header you can see the status is 200 but currently the thing is uh, our resetting form fields is not working okay it should reset the form fields 
and uh, in the console I am seeing there was an error sending your data syntax is unexpected token ok it is not a valid json so what you can do just check your response so you can see here it is not a proper json it is throwing one text so instead of converting response or json just replace json to text response dot text so after that if i refresh the web page again and now if i write rithvik rithvik at the rate gmail.com and message will be here if i click on the send you will see the form data will get appended and in the console you will see thank you rithvik your message was received successfully same in the network tab also the status is 200 and in the preview or in response you can say you will see the message same in the console part and you can see uh, we have successfully reset the form fields after the form submission what you can do more uh, we have one react toast okay for the notification so just navigate to your chrome browser and just write react toast or you can say toastify so it is basically a popular npm package used for the notifications so you can also explore this part of code and you can just simply install this using npm install react toastify or if you are using yarn then you can just easily install yarn at react toastify so you can see uh, if i navigate to my package.json file then we have already installed react toastify version 9.1.3 and uh, in my previous challenges also i have used this so i will just search for react toastify and you will see i have used this in challenge 27 so just I will copy this part paste it down ok and, uh, and I will copy this toast container I will paste after this div ok and now instead of console.error I can easily write toast.error okay and uh, console.data I can write toast dot success your message has been sent successfully so that is something so after that after saving this code uh, we will again try to submit our data so now let's suppose if I write Rohan as name Rohan at the rate gmail.com message will be hey buddy and when I click on the send you will see your message has been sent successfully so this is basically a popular npm package and this also enhances the part of user interfaces ok and you can just explore this uh, react toastify uh, you, you can just read the documentation we have so just click on the documentation and you will see we have this toast container uh, we have the position also top left if you want top right if you want top center same for the themes light dark and color type and we have many other uh, user interfaces for that so you can just read the documentation so we have this logic ready and uh, with the help of this code you can easily send any type of front end data to the backend application if you have a proper backend endpoint so this is the logic we have created try to go through this part of code we have and try to play with this logic try to add some more fields and uh, try to create some more functionalities ok and try to add some more CSS try to make this UI attractive so that is something so if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe and uh, if you have any doubt regarding this so let me know in the comment section and till then thank you for watching